<laughs> I kept just now. I feel it on my mustache. <laughs> How the fuck did you find us? Who are we talking about? We're sorry to inconvenience you. 15 per thou, bud. 15 per thou? 15 per hot thou. Oh, I'm not ready at all going into this. I don't have anything prepared. It's okay. Dude, nobody listening to this is fucking prepared for it either, so it's all good. Yeah. What is this now? Episode 12? Episode 12. Oh, my Holy gosh. Holy fuck, dude. Dude, we're almost teens. We're almost teenagers. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. We're almost up there. Do you we're remember up. that time I gave a shot to a 12-year-old? Oh, yeah. We won't say any names, but I also gave that same 12-year-old food poisoning. <laughs> it was for, f- what, $5? 10 <laughs> <laughs> It was worth it, then. Yeah. It was so worth it. What do you miss, like, one day of fourth grade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah does that, missed, does that suck to think about he got a couple of days off school so it's all good yeah he no, didn't, I, yeah we were at a party and i was really drunk and i made a kid eat a uh, pancake batter that had been out all day mm-hmm. and he was like i'll eat a spoonful for ten dollars and i was like i have a ten dollar bill in my wallet right now that says you fucking won't but yeah can you split it 20 that'll come into contact <laughs> later 20 that'll wrap around for a later comment that i'm gonna make oh boy yeah I'm already thinking about my person of the week. I got it ready. I got it locked oh, in. Oh, dude, you're doing, you're doing reach around jokes? Yeah, it's it's going to be a beef of a person of the week, though. Oh, man. Yeah. You guys will have to tune in. Stay stay, stay tuned. Stay logged into that. Log in. Tune to that one later. Yeah, stay tuned yes, in. Sir. Stay tuned. Logged in. Stay tuned. Logged in. Yep. Log cabin. We should get a log cabin sometime. Dude, let's do it. I was thinking about that because we've gone camping a couple times, and that's fun and all, but we need to get like a proper drunk cabin. Yeah. That sounds like so much fun. Are you talking about owning one or just renting? Mm. Well, financially renting one. Owning one and then renting it out to other people? Maybe for a weekend. Yeah. Just own it for a weekend and resale value will skyrocket by then. Yeah. I mean, at my sister's wedding, we uh, rented cabins and stuff, and we did all sorts of vile shit in those cabins. I know, know? and it all looked and sounded really fun. The thing is, we need a group of friends that will rage rage. I have go a group of friends that will rage, and they're all listeners. You better be, you better watch what you say about our ragers, bud. I want to dance with all of those friends. I want them to dance with me, but I yeah. don't know how to ask. Yeah, that's you know, true. You also don't know how to ask. Have you ever tried to ask a guy to hang out without it being gay? Like a date? Yeah, like like just trying to ask a guy to hang out just the two of you without it being like homogenous. Yeah, like Brad, let's go for a walk. Yeah. Do you want to go fishing sometime and like haul dicks? <laughs> like <laughs> like time in a, a knot. <laughs> yeah, just, we'll go we'll go fishing with our dick worms. You know, it's I don't know. It's just harder. Oh. I feel like girls can like have sex and be friends, and the guys are like, "Do you want to hang out?" And we're like, "Nah, it's gay." <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. It's, it's completely you're right. different. No, 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 guys no, yeah, yeah, you're right. 100%. Yeah. 100%. That's why I only hang out with uh, myself. <laughs> so I only hang out with transvestites. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's some people out there that knows a couple things about that. Yeah. I'm going to make this joke, and I probably shouldn't. But I have this, uh, I have a homogenous coworker, and then I have a non homogenous coworker. Okay. Pause. And, pause. Mm hmm. Homogenous, what does that mean? Homo. I don't think it does. It means of the same. It's just a fancy word. Homogenous, mean, homogenous just means of the same? Yeah. I thought that was what uh, milk was. Isn't milk like homogenized or whatever? Pasteurized? No. I mean, yes, but like there's there's homo on milk. <laughs> <laughs> There is homo on milk. I don't know. I just looked at the milk one day and I was like, hey, yo, that says homo. That might be fucking uh, homophobic. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've done some nasty shit with milk, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> Say it. Say what you want to. No, no, I know no, no, you're no. going to. I'll deny it. Didn't you? <laughs> Didn't you tell me one time you splashed milk on your dick? And? <laughs> and then what? I don't, I don't know. That's all you told me. It was a lie. Mm. From your lips. <laughs> From my lips. From mine, his. it was truth. I'm not a liar. I'm a good boy. Good boy doing bad things with milk. Have you ever put anything on your milk? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever put anything on your milk? <laughs> Have you ever put anything uh, on your dick that shouldn't have been there? Mom, stop listening. Mom, 
my mom you're gonna listen anyway i know you are go ahead mine too um they just want to see how bad of boys we are do you remember the first time you beat off yes this is this is a vile uh so the first time i beat off wait where are we going down this road (laughs) no i mean i was of age um what does that mean so basically You're not supposed to be of age when you first beat off, dude. You're supposed to figure that shit out long before. I don't like you thinking of me as a minor beating off. That's I'm why not I'm, thinking about that at all. <laughs> I can guarantee it. So I had watched porn for probably a year. Mm-hmm. Without like You just watched completing. It? <laughs> yeah. Stern I I literally I would go to bed at night and I would look at it. <laughs> and then I'd go to bed. <laughs> No, I didn't. Holy fuck. And then I watched a guy uh, shoot a big blob of cum. <laughs> like Spider-Man on the rooftop, like moving his hands around trying to figure out the combination. He's like, can, can I do, can I come too? Yeah. Shazam. You know what he did in the, you know? <laughs> Shazam. Yeah. How he like, make my web shoot. And then he goes, and he like falls off a building. Yeah. Um. So I went in the shower with a bottle of shampoo and I beat off. And when I finished, oh. my dick was burning for three days straight. Uh. And I, di- I didn't touch myself for three weeks. <laughs> you probably thought you were going to hell, didn't you? No, I thought that that's how it felt every time. Really? Yeah, I didn't You're realize like- it was because I put shampoo in my cock. <laughs> 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 so I was like, how do they do it in porn and it doesn't hurt? <laughs> oh, my God. You just thought like you bust and like that was the price you had to pay for three weeks or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, like women go through childbirth and we go through the after effects of beating off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that was just natural. For like three oh. weeks, I didn't beat off again. And then I was like, maybe I just got shampoo in my dick. And I tried oh, it again. Dude. But this time it still hurt because there's still shampoo. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't done the same thing. Yeah. I wouldn't say I did it first. But like I was definitely like, ooh, I'll try this out. No, never again, dude. No. I've heard I've heard horror stories from some uh, old friends of mine, mm. and uh, they were like, some "Yeah, known known people." Um, I don't know them anymore, but not biblically. No, never mm. did. Hmm. He knew my girlfriend biblically though, but he said he used shampoo one time or soap or something. Yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, it literally just made my dick shed all its skin." <laughs> Oh, that too. I was like, yeah, it's fucking facts, though, because it's like it dries your shit out. Oh, I never thought about that. That's why my shit was fucked up. Oh, yeah, it's super fucked up. Oh, man, maybe I was just a dumb kid. Maybe I'm a dumb adult. (laughs) Maybe we're all just dumb as kids. Maybe we're just trying to do our best to get through this life of ours, you know? Fucking right. Yeah. We're really shooting hot, hard, and heavy into this episode right off the bat, aren't we, good buddy? Oh, dude, shooting big, hot, and heavy. You know who shoots big, hot, and heavy three-pointers 24-7? Steph Curry. Good old, uh, g- yeah. Good old Thaddeus over there, though. Oh, Thaddeus. I dude. think Thaddeus could outball Steph. Oh, 100%, dude. Yeah. His legs are, like, long. His neck's even longer. Realistically, I bet that Steph Curry could dunk on a life-size giraffe. I wonder what would happen if, uh, like, a real life giraffe saw him. Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They might. <laughs> they might try mating. Yeah. Not Steph Curry. He might run, but the giraffe would be like. Well, he would try to run. Fellow, dra- yeah. You can't. You can't run from a giraffe. You can't outrun a giraffe. Shit's like know. fucking seventy feet tall, dog. <laughs> Have you ever seen like a really tall dude run? Not that fast. No. You got. You got to be built for a run. I don't run. I consider myself fairly tall. Exactly. I'm kind of short and stout like a teapot, but I could like, like I could sprint out a quarter. Yeah. I, j- I just don't run. I can't run. I've tried running and I can't. Yeah. We should ra- we ha- we should we should we should have a race sometime. Dude, I've been thinking about running the loop around here. I've got a great idea. We we set a commitment. We break into a drag strip. And we race on a drag strip sprint race. And we have someone at the beginning and at the end timing us. The whole drag strip? The whole quarter mile? Eighth eighth mile, dude. We don't have quarter mile drag strips around here. Why not? Because we we just a small town. We don't have longer drag, drag strips. Small town? Where's the drag strip around this town? Like, There's one close to here that I know of, and that's plenty fucking flat enough to have a quarter mile. You that well, it's all about property too. The cost of owning fucking a fourth of a mile of property versus owning an eighth of a mile of property. Well, yeah, but like, 
Well, actually, that's a lie because owning an eighth mile drag strip is owning a fourth mile because you have to have another eighth mile to slow the fuck down. Didn't you race your uh, cars at one point? Yeah, eighth mile. It's, it was an eighth mile? Tell me about that a little bit because I've never heard about it. Well, I've actually, I've only, I was running my Honda, shitty Honda, whatever. It was slow. <laughs> the 98 Honda? The 98 that Honda. That you paid $98 yep. for? I won robbed. a single race out of eight, nine, I don't know. I've won a single race out of how many times I've raced this, this car. And it was against another Honda. <laughs> yeah. Was it at 97? <laughs> no, it was a four-cylinder, though, so I had two on him. You had V6? Yeah, I had a V6, but he had a, a five-speed, probably. So he was slamming through gears, and I was, like, foot to the floor, like, Meh. Do you remember the one time uh, me and your brother were riding motorcycles, and you passed by us in your Honda? I looked at you and go go past us, and I went the fuck is he driving <laughs> yeah, yeah and then the next time i saw you you were in a fucking is 300 or whatever 350 yep. and mm-hmm. i was like who the fuck is this kid yeah i'm a whore for them cars yeah and that's when i liked you more than your brother <laughs> that's why or when <laughs> when when and why actually yeah you were like man he doesn't know how to hold on to a good vehicle i said dude look at this guy he bought this fucking car with a cracked frame and then he just sent it into a ditch mm-hmm Brother's kind of lame, man. Bank owns his car. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, yeah, I fucking hate that. I was I'm going to school. I had my fucking Honda, whatever, and I got taught, like, so much shit was talked to my car. This guy with an STI. I was like, my guy, the bank owns your car. Yeah. Like, this is, like, in my name. Enjoy your monthly bill, fucking Frank. Exactly. My only monthly bill is, like, pure speed, and if I crash it, who cares? Yeah, exactly. You know? It was $98. $98 with a $500 exhaust on it. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I could have I should have just chopped it. Five hundred dollar exhaust? Well was, Which is the w- cheapest way you could do an exhaust. It was it, an eBay exhaust. It was twin exhaust. My exhaust was fucking thirty dollars, I'll have you know, and it was only fifty dollars to have welded on. Well, no no no, I it wasn't like like a muffler. It was full headers, cat, oh, cat it was back. The whole it was exhaust. the whole sh- the whole chanchilada. Oh yeah, the whole bowl of cereal cost you about five hundo. The whole cake, ice cream on top with whipped cream, cherries, and a little bit of sprinkle. A little bit of sprinkles. Little sprinkles and on a cherry the right on top. Top corner of the cake. <laughs> Just, I'm going to make it you, was, a, next year for your birthday, I'm going to make you, by the way, happy late birthday. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. We should have mentioned that uh, like yeah. weeks ago. It was in the last month, brother. Last month is in like a month and a half. And a month a month up at the bottom of the sea, a month and a half ago, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But next birthday, I'm going to make you a cake. Uh, what flavors? You like red velvet? Red velvet's my favorite. Do you like white icing or does it matter? Yeah. All right, so red velvet with a nice like cheesecake icing on top, right? Yeah. And then a wad of sprinkles just in the top right corner. Just in the top <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. But it's like perfectly like it's like protracted in, so it's like perfect right angles. So <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna say "Happy Birthday, Carper." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm picturing right now art. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot wait till your birthday. Yeah, because I mean, I don't know what kind of cake you like. I'll ask you later. But not, I mean, I, I can eat chocolate, but I don't really. I, fuck I with feel chocolate. like you'd be a German chocolate guy. Not, not even close. No. I don't know what kind of cake you like, but I'm gonna make you a cake, and I'm just gonna say, uh, oh, fuck. Um, what's this thing? No. Oh, you forgot the lamb sauce, Jordan. Where's but, the lamb sauce? But it's just going to be spelled with a G. <laughs> with a G, Jordan Ramsey. Yeah. <laughs> you wrapped around, you reached around, and you tugged that joke back out. Dude, tugged it all the way back out from oh like episode gosh. whatever. <laughs> I've got an idea. We should have a bake-off. Dude. Can we? It's like the British baking show or whatever, the yeah. British bake-off, but it's just... Broke boy bake off. <laughs> Broke boy bake off. Broke boy bake off. The, tr- the triple yeah. B. It's like the Guy Fieri's triple D, but it's triple B's for broke boy bake off. Broke boy bake off. Right. You go to your mom's house and bake. I'll go to my mom's house and bake. And then when we're done, we don't have to clean it up. And we're going to bring our cakes here and judge each other's cake. And then leave it on the table for a week. And <laughs> it's too much sweet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I couldn't eat that like, much. We can't like move it from the table to the fucking fridge. That's too much work. Maybe we could. Like do a gift swap with yeah. our cakes. We get sk- cake swap. Maybe we could take it to Goodwill and bargain for some free shit. I wouldn't mind doing a cake swap with you. I, you got quite a little dump truck on you. I don't have anything. Don't look at me. Coffee beans tacked to a shingle over here. That cake swap would be like the Native Americans and the Pilgrims. Dude, putting your ass on my ass would literally be like fucking two Jay Z swapping a, like a. 
<laughs> let me let, 1980 Honda Civic. Let me let me run this back by you again. This is like prime US real estate. That's a couple of seeds. I don't understand what you're saying, bud. Hmm? A couple of seeds. Yeah, I'm a pilgrim. No, no, no. You're a pilgrim with a couple of seeds. Yeah. And I'm a Native American with all that fat American realty. So I'm going to just come in and give you smallpox and take your ass? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Give me smallpox and take my butt. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What we did to those people was horrible. and We should should apologize, but we're not going to. I shouldn't because I didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't do shit. That was my great-parents' great-grandparents. Listen, man, I didn't do shit that everybody's upset with today. Now I'm just going to make that clear. Yeah. You know? You're racist. You owned slaves. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so far, I've never owned a slave. I've never said anything, like, racist in the intention of being racist. No. Like, I like making jokes. I'm not saying I make racial jokes, but sometimes people get upset about jokes that I make that um, they shouldn't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's It's weird because, like, it's all about the intent you have when you say something. Yeah, exactly. Like, if my intention is to get a reaction, a giggle, or a laugh, or a shake. Oh, uh, yeah, a little laughter, a little chortle. Yeah. My intention is not to put you down as an entire, like, race. Yeah. My, if I want to put you down, I'll find a much more creative way to do oh, that. Oh, dude, if you want to put somebody down, you can put them down. Like the family Absolutely. dog. It's just, it's no question. Yeah. No, it's not. But speaking of racists, do you want to go over our people of the week? Yeah, I'll let you go first, because I'm going to let my beef stew for another moment while I listen to you. So, my person of the week is uh, Mac Miller. Mm. Now, it's a little sad. Yeah, rest in peace. Because, rest in peace, obviously. He's uh, passed away, I think, a little over two years ago now. Uh, The reason he's my person of the week is because last night, I just kind of chilled out. I was kind of stressing about some stuff, and I just chilled out. I I took some time, and I just put some Mac Miller on, Mm. and I just listened to the words, man. If you've ever been like stressed out about anything or you need like some wisdom, yeah. Just put on uh Swimming or Circles, those Circles. two albums. Oh, yeah. Circles is a really good album. He also just put out a new album which is really good. Uh I suggest you guys listen to that cuz it's a fucking banger. Yeah. But um I don't know, it just it brought back a feeling of uh like nostalgia and peace just like peace yeah. yeah peace and comfort and it was just a feeling i hadn't felt in a while yeah i just kind of sat down and just chilled out and listened to some music mm-hmm. and i think that's important to do every once in a while absolutely and meditation yeah meditation yeah. is also a fucking gift from god dude yeah shout out to uh the midnight gospel oh, yes. um kind of I, I don't know if i watched it with you did we watch it together that episode the meditation like yeah where i think it was him and his mom yeah. Um. Kind of just his mom kind of walked through like some easy steps to like to kind of calm yourself down and to meditate. She basically like taught you how to meditate. Yeah. And I have used it several times <sighs> right when I'm like about to explode. Oh, dude, it's a lifesaver. Genuinely, I was I was working on a diesel truck the other day. I was doing fuel filters. This filter would not fucking come loose. I'm soaked in diesel fuel. I smell like diesel fuel. It's all over my arms. It's starting to tingle. It sucks. And I'm claustrophobic under this truck. And I just, for like a minute, no one fucking talked to me. No one bothered me. And I just, I closed my eyes. I felt the inside of my hands. And I felt the inside of my legs. And then I slowly worked up the entirety of my body. And then I just, with my eyes closed, feeling everything, I just listened. Yeah. And god damn it made me not want to like punch the bottom of this diesel truck, right? you know. Dude, it's amazing god, it's how so helpful. It's amazing how well it works. It's amazing. So I didn't mean to to hijack your your person of the week No, there. no, no. I was done, but like, yeah, meditate, listen to some Mac Miller. Dude, just Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really really good stuff. Really good for the soul, good for the mind. But yeah, some chill vibes just like feel what you're feeling like if you're going through some shit get that shit out yeah man like don't bottle that shit up no don't bottle it up screw the lid on the jar and shove it deep down like carter suggested earlier <laughs> <laughs> listen to some listen to some mick mac miller and go ahead and just meditate and get that shit out fucking for real dude for real yeah and i hate to be a bearer of bad news but i'm really calm now 
and my person of the week I need to get fired up for. Can you hit me? Non-violently, but smack me good. Hard enough that, like, I'll want to hit you back. Who's your person of the week, bud? Fuck! Um, my person of the week is named Anthony. Now, Anthony was telling me a story at work today because I mentioned something about, like, what's the most racist thing you've ever said? And I thought I knew what his was, and I was wrong because I thought I was there. And he's he. Um, so basically, what happened was you thought you were there, and he was way past. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Um, I've definitely never said anything close to as um, disrespectfully racist as this. Can't stand it. Uh, just irresponsible, irrational, all around inappropriate. Ho- that's just not good behavior. Not good behavior. No. Fucking be better. Um, so he was telling me he took a trip to New York City. Oh. oh he already no. in the wrong area to oh, be racist. No. Uh he took a trip to New York City and he was walking around like the general like city city. Yeah. Like down the what is it, the fucking You know, New York, New York. Yeah, like New York, New York. New York City. New York's New York. Uh, New yeah. York City, New York, yeah. So he was walking down and uh, he didn't have a, like he had his wallet on him, whatever. He was just chilling. I don't know who he was with. He didn't specify. Yeah. Um, but he's walking down New York City, and he comes on this group of men, and they have this like, I'm not gonna say protest. They have this like peaceful stand yeah. where they're promoting like anti-gun violence and anti-racism, and they hand him this CD, and the guy goes, uh, the guy goes to Anthony, um, would you be able to donate like for our cause? Yeah. And Anthony at the time was wearing like all camo, like red necked up as fuck. Basically, his forehead said, "I own firearms." Yeah. Um. So he's like, "Yeah, let me let me pull something out of my wallet to donate." And all he's got is a twenty. So he goes, he looks at this guy and he goes, "Now I'm gonna give you this twenty, but I need you to give me back fifteen and change." Would you walk up to a homeless man that's begging for money and be like, I only have a 20, so do you have a change for a 20? Can you break this no. for me? No. Already in the wrong. Yeah, no. He's not he's a only cash gonna... register, man. He's fucking right, trying right. his hardest. Yeah, he, they're, they're in support of this cause or whatever. He's like, I'll give you a 20, but I need you to pay me back. Already, no. You either give him $20 or you don't give him anything. Yeah, that's a bad look. Like, you're not, yeah. Tough ask. How? Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a reach. So he gives this man this 20, and this dude walks off into the crowd. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, walks off into the crowd of, like, other people, like, with this peaceful, like, stand or whatever. And he, like, goes after him, and he's like, hey, like, motherfucker, I told you, like, if, to give me back, like, my $15. And this guy, like, he called him a, a pig farmer. <laughs> <laughs> and, his res- and his response was, the reason there is so much gun violence and racism in this country is because of like you holy not to one shit but to a group of five african-american men holy fuck and he was like yeah i was angry i was frustrated i was heated and i said what was gonna hurt him but it wasn't racist no that was that's racist (laughs) that's That's racism at its core yeah that's the uh, i think that's the borderline like definition of racism i think I that's what all old racist people you know like the the real racists of the world i think yeah. that's what they all stem from is that interaction and he he was like trying to like explain himself and he was like well they stole my money and i was like no you gave them 20 dollars yeah you gave them fucking 20 bucks i was like your first mistake that and you're in new york which i don't know when the last time you're in new york was but the population of like it's it's pretty like weighed heavily in not the white division, right? Is what I'll say. It's diverse. Yes, it's 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 pretty diverse much... in the sense that there's not a lot of white folk. Well, no, there is, but like it just doesn't. You don't notice it because there's also a lot of other. Yeah, uh, it's not like around races. here. Yeah. yeah, around here it's it's pretty white based, and then like we've got our our melting pot, but it's not as diverse as like bigger cities are. Right. So this man says this racial slur to a group of five African American men and mm. didn't get killed. That's incredible. I yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's my person of the week. So like imagine imagine it's I don't that's I mean all right, let me rethink what I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's not necessarily that he said it. No. It is that he said it, but it's also the fact that he felt the need 
to explain why he was in the right. He was like, well, they called me a pig farmer. I was like, you look like a pig farmer. You look, yeah. <laughs> you look like you farm pigs. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's not a debate. <laughs> like, yeah. they roasted you. You don't have to be racist. But if you just go in there and drop the hard R in front of a bunch of fucking yeah. African-American men. And he oh, said, my God. He said he was like, and I was ready to fight, too, because they took my $20. Oh. I was like, fight them. $20, dude. Fight them, dude. $20. Do you know how much a, a, a living heart cost? A million dollars, okay? Yeah. For your $20 bill, they were going to stomp out your functioning heart. And love every second of it, I bet. I know. They probably would have gotten a million dollars worth of enjoyment out of killing you. Yeah. You I'm, know? I'm amazed that that man's still fucking walking, talking, and breathing. Like, and it's it's fucking wild. That's insane. Yeah. That don't be insane. racist. Don't be don't racist, racist, man. If you're racist, go listen to Joyner. I'm not racist. Yeah. Listen to that song. Real. Smoke a J and then like listen to that song and play it back every like 15 seconds and listen to the lyrics like close. For real. Yeah. And right. reevaluate your fucking life. And if you fucking, if you are like that, here's what I have to say. <laughs> and I'll fucking let this sl- fucking sling real quick. Yeah. In my vast opinion, like I'll admit mm-hmm. when I was younger, young and fucking stupid. Right. As we are. I used to think that like illegal immigration was the worst thing in the world. I was like, these people shouldn't be breaking the law. Right. Like, well, if you come across the, uh, the border and you get caught and get thrown back, what did you expect? Yeah. And my take on all of that now is, holy fuck, we're all human beings. Let us do what we want. They're trying to survive. They're trying to survive. Like, we're living our lives. They're just trying to make a better future for themselves and their families. Like, yeah. Yeah. My big argument was, well, how do you know they're not MS-13? Motherfucker. 18-year-old Carter, I got beef with you, bitch. <laughs> dude, back and, in time travel smack a kid? Time travel smack a kid, dude. Yeah. Back in fucking whatever year? Fuck that kid. That little yeah. Carter, dude. Fuck him. Because he was like, well, what if MS-13 comes in? Bitch! MS-13's already here. <laughs> They've been here. You know? You yeah. can be MS-13 anywhere. Yeah. And, and I realized that, and I was like, you know what? I'm fucking stupid. I'm stupid for thinking that. And to that, I say, if you think about any race, and you think, well, you know, maybe they shouldn't break the law, or, you know, mm-hmm. for, for African Americans, for example, right. I've heard people go, well, maybe if they weren't dressed that way, none of this shit would happen. Yeah. If you think like that, take your shoes off mm-hmm. and step into someone else's mm-hmm. and realize that we're all just human beings trying to make it in the world and we're all fucking struggling. Yeah. Because I'm fucking struggling and I hate to... I, shout out to Thea Vaughn. I heard this a little bit on his uh, new comedy special, Regular People. If you haven't seen it, you should go check Brilliant. it out. Brilliant. It's so good. I, fucking so yeah. good. Oh my God. But he was saying that... Uh, you know, people would talk about his white privilege sometime. And he was like, motherfucker, I'm in the same shit as you. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not in it as bad as some people, but there are some white people that are in it worse than I am. Right. Your person of the week pisses me off. Yeah, that was my personal person beef of the week. We're fucking beefing now. Yeah. The way that you were saying, like, you should be able to look, not like look at someone and judge them. Like, that man looks like a pig farmer. You should be able to identify them based off the character. That man may look like a pig farmer, but secretly under underneath, he's a racist. Yeah. That's what we should judge people by. Right. Right. And on the low key, take a fucking joke, bud. Yeah. Take a joke and don't retaliate like that. Maybe and, retaliate a little bit better than that. And don't try to break change with charity. Right. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do don't that. Don't break change with charity. Don't send charity a, a million dollars and be like, can I get like 500 thou of that back? Yeah, you, know, you, you give them a million. And you're like, can I get like two hundred and like fifty thousand dollars back from that, please? Like, if, if you man. hand, okay, listen, race, nationality, whatever aside, if you hand somebody twenty dollars that's homeless or needs money, is like asking for money, yeah, and you say, can I get fifteen dollars back? You're a piece of shit. You better count on. Okay, well. Here's actually what I'll say. If you were ready to fight for that $20, right. you should have been smart enough to know that you weren't going to see that $20 again. Yeah, if I Did he hand, ever get his money back? I don't fucking think so. All of that for nothing then. You yeah. were just a piece of shit for nothing. <laughs> yeah. He's lucky that uh, in the day and age, uh, videoing people wasn't as mainstream 
Yeah. I mean, all, all he would need is a Burger King hat, and he would be viral. Oh, he'd be fucked. Yeah, he'd be fucked, bud. He would be fucked. Yeah, the racist pig farm with a Burger King hat. Yeah, man, fuck yeah. that. Yeah. Fuck racism. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Fast food? Uh, probably Taco Bell. Taco Bell is good. Chick Fil A is good. We're talking broke bitch. Like you need a dollar, a dollar fucking yeah. meal. Yeah. I'm talking Burger King is not that good, but goddamn Burger King has gotten me through some broke ass meals. Dude, Burger King. It. I think you can get like ten chicken nuggets for like a dollar fifty. <laughs> it's eight now. Oh, it used eight? to be ten chicken nuggets for a dollar, and I got a hundred chicken nuggets for uh for ten dollars, and they were like. Yeah, I think Jordan found the hole in our logic. <laughs> I think he we knows. need to beef these prices a little bit because this guy is fat and hungry. We gotta like put this man on a like a like a fucking price wise diet. You know, the price was right, but not that day. Carter's gotta pee. I have to pee. Man, did I pee in the sink? Boy, did I piss on the walls. The walls and balls? The walls and my balls, yes. From the window to the wall to the ball to the neck and back? To the window to the balls. Yeah. Do not take a black light in this house. Please don't. No, not from the P. Dear God, please don't. No, that actually reminds me of something I uh, I ran into today. So I was working. You sideswiped a woman? No. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, no, no, no. I, yeah, I, I'm good. I'm clean. I'm fine. For now. Here's the deal. I'm going to say this first before I tell the story. Okay. I'm good. Not a pedo. Oh, sh- Jesus. Yeah. Mm. So... This was a circumstance that I was put in today, and it was not pleasant. Doesn't sound um, it. So I was doing my shit. I was locating some curb around this um, some mall. I was on some Tinder locating some curb. Yeah, you know. You yeah, know the, you I know, know the vibe. You know the vibe. Yeah. Uh, but so I noticed what seemed to be like a, a, like a woman and a man kind of like meeting up to go somewhere with their child. Yeah. So this child it couldn't have been more than like three or four years old. Yeah. Um, and precursor to the story, there had been police officers just kind of like strolling through this mall parking lot all day. Really? So I was just kind of a little sketched out, you know, in general. Yeah. Is this going to be some serious shit? No, it's just like a fucking, so, (laughs) (laughs) so luckily there are no cops around. Right. Because this would have made me even more uncomfortable. I wouldn't have gotten like in trouble or anything, but so I'm. I'm keeping an eye on this cu- this couple and their kid because I'm like I don't know if like they're kind of near my equipment so I don't know if they're gonna like fuck with it or not. Yeah. And out of nowhere, I see the 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 mother and the child walking towards this tree mm-hmm. that's maybe thirty yards from me. I'm you know I'm focusing on my work and I happen to glance up and be like, what the fuck are they doing over there in the oh, grass? No. This little kid, this little fucking kid. Just whipped his fucking dick out and just started pissing in the grass. Children have no sensor. His mom took him over there. His mom was like, no, this is fine, sweetie. I know there's adults around, but here's your penis. I'm like, maybe, fuck off. Maybe the mall bathroom was closed. The whole mall's closed, so it was. I literally sat there and fucking d- dusted the dirt off the top of this curb. I didn't need to do it, but I you sat there like, and just dusted the dirt off this curb like for whistling fucking... whistling while looking at the ground, just kicking a pebble around. Literally, yeah. I was like, let me just... Mind my own goddamn business. I was on my phone. I was looking up no, how yeah. long does it take a kid to piss so I can look up at the right time, you know? I was literally so... you so- can catch him putting it away? No. <laughs> Dude, I, fuck. Again, you're clean. <laughs> then you would catch them putting me away. But, <laughs> they um, wouldn't catch you. You'd be in Mexico. Oh, I'd be gone. Yeah, you'd be in New York. Yeah. <laughs> calling people the... Never mind. <laughs> calling people pig farmers? Yeah. Yeah. Calling... Aunt, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. no, I was... Uh, the, yeah. That was a fucking strange occurrence. I was literally just like, why would you put me in this situation? Yeah. Like, keep in mind, I'm the only other person in this parking lot. I'm like, why would you do this to me? This is cruel. Yeah. This is like borderline like assault, yeah. you know? I mean, hey, kids pee wherever the fuck they want to, really. That's true. But Until the age of like whenever they can like think with their brain, they just pee laying down. I mean, yeah, they piss in their pants. What an easy life. Can we, we get back to that that primal instinct of just like, I've got to go. I'm laying down. Yep. Don't need to go anymore. Yep. You know? It was so easy. I want a toilet bed. Yeah. A toilet bed. And then Ooh. when you you need to go number two, 
uh, it's like an ice cream sandwich. It just and it flips you over on your back and you just shit downwards. Yeah, like you're laying on your stomach with your dick out. I guess it could work with females too. Might dribble a little, but like you're laying on your stomach and it, you just pee and when you got to poop, it goes. And it's like a massage bed and it flips you over because it's two pieces and now you're laying on your back and you can shit laying down. Yeah, does it spread your butt cheeks too or do you have to wipe? It doesn't. They had to hire help for that. Oh. Yeah. Why wouldn't they just put a bidet in it? A bidet doesn't help you shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> a bidet helps you clean after. Yeah. The, the man who sway uh, that they hired with the double-sided uh, ice cream sandwich shit bed um, Josue is the guy that uh, helps you shit by spreading your butt cheeks and cheeks. That is so nice of him. Does he just sit in your closet and wait for you to come home? I have a friend named Josue, so now every time I'm saying this, I'm thinking of his face just spreading my butt cheeks while I'm laying down. Is his name actually Josue or is it it Jose? It's Josue. He's he's African-American Mexican. Really? How awesome is that? Dude, I, I met this... I was talking to this person last night, and she is... Um, half Guatemalan, half Korean. How wild is that? What kind of plane trips and like buses and train rides and cars and taxis do you have to take to have that kind of a like beautiful breed? I mean, probably just like one plane for like either the mom or the dad to fly from either Korea to Guatemala or vice versa. I guarantee you there is not a flight from Guatemala to Korea. <laughs> You might, okay, have, to, might, you have, might been, have to do a, a hop a skip. It might know? have been a layover. Okay, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> layover. Yeah. I don't know. Being... I don't know. White is like a piece of paper. It's so boring. That Yeah, it's boring. Like, I get like... You no, know, it's just boring. People are like, white privilege this and white privilege that. And I'm like, bitch, this just fucking sucks. Yeah. We're just copy paste. When you think of white privilege, you think of like... Rich white college kids. Yes, they have white privilege. Uh, the, and those people piss me off. Fuck them. Oh my God. Fuck, fuck you. Them. I've worked for everything that I have in my life. Every car I've ever bought, I've paid cash out of my hand. Everywhere I've lived, I've paid for. All my phone bills, all my like insurance. Fucking everything that I have, I've paid with my own fucking money. Fucking F- Fuck right. you for being born with a car. Yeah. And like a college degree. Dude, people get cars for their birthday and it drives me nuts. Yeah, fucking when like teenagers get like a, a 2020 Dodge Charger for their 16th birthday. Oh, I've seen it. Dude, there was a kid that got for his 17th birthday, he got a 2021 Dodge um, TRX 1500 with the Hellcat in it. How old was he? 17 years old. Fuck. The same day he told it and he... Yeah. And... He passed away, and two of his passengers passed away. Oh, God. You couldn't have fucking started with that? No, you, I was cheering this on, dude. You dug your own Fuck. hole. You dug your grave, uh, and his parents dug his. But <laughs> all, the, all, the comments, all the comments were super insensitive, and I know I'm making a lot of insensitive jokes. Well, it's okay. Um, <laughs> but all, all the comments were like, uh, are they selling the engine? <laughs> or like, you shouldn't give a 17-year-old like a Hellcat truck. And then no one was commenting prayers for their family. Oh, man. Dude, imagine. Imagine, like, thinking you're giving your kid the world and you're really just taking it from them. No, that's tough, That's though. so sad. I can't imagine the the pain of having to bury... I've never lost someone close to me, let alone the loss of burying, like, someone that you had part in creating. Yeah, dude, that's fucking terrible. Super, uh, super dark moment. Sorry to get rid of the giggles and laughs. But, yeah, uh, honestly... I drive mean, safe. We we might have made some jokes about that, but fuck. That's so fucking that's sad. Hard. I've only seen... I'm going to get mushy. I've only seen my dad cry probably two times. And one of them was him having a conversation while us driving somewhere about like um, the emotional trauma that he would go through if he were to lose like either me or like one of my brothers. Yeah. And I've never... like I've only seen him cry like a few times. So I know that that genuinely would devastate him more than anything oh else yeah dude world. i couldn't even imagine yeah so uh stay alive for your for your, uh your family if nothing else yeah for real for real yeah bingo bango and like mental health on the topic of mental health i probably prioritize i don't take care of my body i probably prioritize mental health over physical health 100 percent. because there have been days where my mental health has been out of whack and i've like 
thrown up out of just nerves, yeah. you know, not actual physical illness. Mm -hmm. Your mind, how you think and process and how you react to things and how you deal with traumas affects your body. Yeah. If you are mentally sick, it will affect the way that your body operates. 100%. You'll be sluggish. You won't be able. Yeah. Just simply take care of your your mind. Take care of your body. Yeah. You know? 100%. Mental health is just as important. 100%. Completely. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And if you're in one of those spots, don't wait because sitting around is not going to help. You're not going to get better without making an advance to heal. Yeah. Like, get some help. Get some help. Go do stuff. Go yeah. go start a podcast. Move in yeah. with your friend. Yeah. Go start Get a podcast. Drunk, make a drunk bet and move in with your friend and don't cut your hair. Fucking exactly. Yeah. Just do something. Get out. Get out and meet new people. Do something. In the words of uh, Michael 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 Jordan, stop. Get some help. Facts. Never said it better myself. <laughs> then continue to do what you're doing. Yeah. Continue to fucking yeah. rip that shit. All day long. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, off a serious topic. <laughs> yeah, off a serious topic. Random question, bud. What's your what's your favorite beer to drink? And then what's your favorite liquor to drink? Are we talking like like beer beer? Like beer? Are we talking like like an alcoholic soft drink? Like uh like an alcoholic beverage. Beverage. Not that's a, not like hard liquor. That's not hard liquor. So like yeah. below like ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I would say I would say fourteen and below because that's what like four locos are, and that's I think that's the highest. That's what, not bootlegger? liquor, like bootleggers around there. Uh, yeah, bootleggers are probably around there somewhere. Yeah, not if you say bootleggers though, I'm probably just like punch me. I'm gonna cancel this podcast and start yeah, my own. <laughs> we're gonna delete this entire recording. Um, definitely, I'll to get drunk. I'll drink a boot. I'll drink three. If I drink two, I feel nothing. If I drink a third, I'm trashed. You one tap them. Huh? Yeah, you have to. I can't. That's why I don't drink bootleggers because I can't one tap them, and I'm like, I'm. Too you feel like you're being disrespectful. Not disrespectful, but I feel you, like I'm gonna. You are. I'm gonna get disrespected. Well, so I'm like, I'm not gonna put myself through this embarrassment. Well, when you act with disrespect, you shall be disrespected. Fair enough. Yeah. I just. After I'm sorry. I don't receive. know how to chug. <laughs> I don't know how to chug. We should get a beer bong. I'm down. I did a beer bong the other day. We should day. make a beer bong out of a Jack bottle. You think we could do that easily? <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, we, we I've should already, make a jack bottle bong. Let me dude. go. Let me go to the store, get a glass cutter, and you know, we, it's done. Yeah, maybe let's some do it. sandpaper, try to smooth out the edge, but that's all you fucking need. We could do it. It's already uh, mentally, it's done. I've done it. Yeah, the the fucking idea is already there. Yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah. Let's do it. But uh, I, like, I drank that drink and a half at Megan's house for your birthday, and it basically just. It just forces it through you. It's so much better than shotgunning because it's so much faster, and it's not like you have to like hold it up and like suck out the alcohol out of it while it's like draining. Yeah, a beer bong just physically like, oh, you want alcohol? Now here you go, and it just like forces it through you, and it just like it gets it in faster. Yeah, like I'll do a I've uh, beer bonged Jack Daniel. Oh, like how much? Probably like five shots worth of Jack Daniels. Jesus fucking Christ! It was New Year and we were raging, and it was a great party. Damn! And I survived I bet. actually. Yeah, you survived. Yep. You lived to tell the tale. I'm here. Here you are. Yep. I lived to tell the tall tale from a short guy. See, I've only ever beer bonged um, out of like a, uh, I guess you'd call it like a Funnel? dual hosed beer bong. Oh yeah. So we would just put one drink in it and then beer bong the one drink. Do you do it twice or you do it with someone else? With someone else. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. We should get... <laughs> can, can we get one? <laughs> get a double beer bong? Can we get, can we get two? <laughs> <laughs> let's just... Let's make a double beer bong and then uh, we'll put the two E&J bottles at the ends. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big bottle to cut through. <laughs> maybe let's just learn how to chug. Yeah, maybe yeah, that. That sounds cheaper. You know, putting a straw in a glass drink or something like that. Dude, yeah, have you ever done that? Like a straw in the bottle of wine and it gets, like, it funnels out the air? Dude, it's so crazy. Dude, I can't chug. Dude. I need you to teach me how to chug because I could. <laughs> can I breed you into an alcohol? Anyway, what I was saying before, I can't chug. I can't chug. I can't take shots right. I can't shotgun right. Can you chug water? 
Not real. I mean, everything I drink, I have to put it in my mouth, comprehend, and then swallow. <laughs> so, like, when I take a shot, I shoot it. Yeah. I get it all in my mouth, and then I swallow it all. You need to upgrade your processing processing power. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Everybody's need- like, what? You do it that way? You don't just go straight down your throat? And I'm like, dude, do this. Uh, Open your mouth. See, I would choke. I'd choke. I have a little throat. Don't I have breathe. a small little throat. Don't breathe. I have to. No, you don't. Can you hold your breath? Do it right now. I can't. Chugging. I can't. Just chugged. I can't. It's too mental. I can't do it. It's too me- It's too metal. It's too <laughs> metal, dude. I can't fucking do it. It's, it's, it's too hardcore. It's too metal for my mental, dude. dude. Simply open your throat and take it. <laughs> I, I just don't know how. On I've the never plus side, we know who would be better at giving head. <laughs> I would definitely take 100% the back seat on being able to give head. I'll let you. You would take the back seat. That's a poor choice of words. I'll let you drive. <laughs> You'll take the back seat. You'll take it in the back seat if you don't give head. Oh no! You, you ever been to prison? You wouldn't make it one week in prison with that long hair. All right, I think I've asked you this before. If you went to prison, how short would you cut your hair? Because buzz it's not. Bald. It's not staying. Buzz bald. That's you got. No, you got to leave a little bit on top though, nope. because if they get those toilet plungers, just. The same thing. You're hooked anyways. You just got a straight ponytail at that point, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's literally a straight point. A little wooden ponytail. Little pointy tail. It's a ponytail somebody can put in their ass. <laughs> That's You're called a unicorn at that point. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you got unicorn in jail. Um, No, it would be short. It would be short for sure. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. thought about it. What? A, well, I mean, if you got like, say you cut it into like a mullet, no one would touch you anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Get that transgender cut, boy. A frohawk? Yeah. Dude, imagine, imagine you wake up one day and I just, just the center, a center line through your hair. If I, man, how many that, times would you like resurrect me to kill me again? I, probably seven, just to be seven. Lucky. And then on the eighth, you would rest. Yeah, so I would resu- better than God. I'd resurrect you seven times. Uh huh. And then I would just kick you out. Oh, you wouldn't kill me the eighth time. No. I'd kill you seven times. How would you kick me out? We 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 split this. You don't own me. I would just start paying all of it. You would you would tell the person uh, that we rent under that I smoke indoors. Yeah. And they would just kick me out. Yeah, I'd just be like, hey, this kind of fish. Problem. I don't know if. You know what else is fish? Cutting somebody else's hair while they're fucking asleep. If you did that, dude, I'd legitimately probably fucking end your life. Like you, I'd be so pissed. This was so. This was a fun hypothetical. I know. Yeah. I mean, that's all hypothetical too. I wouldn't actually kill you for any yeah. reason. If you I could did probably that, punch you so hard that your nose piercing would go through your skull. My skull. That or sounds my really nose? dark, huh? Because the little nose isn't. There's, there's no. Sc- no, no, no. I don't. I don't mean it pokes through your nose. I mean, like the it little comes tiny out the other metal, side. Yeah, it comes out the back of your forehead. You think you could hit me that hard? No. With a car. You can't even reach. You can't, you can't even fucking read. Well, you have a school bag. Dress your age. You can't even fucking read. I yeah. don't know. I don't know what I would do. I would definitely, um, I would call you literally every slur in the book, though. Do you think we'd run another podcast, or you think that'd be no, it? That'd be it. That'd really? Be, that'd be the end of it. Really? Yeah, I don't think I'd ever talk to you again. Maybe I'm that. not in this for the long con with you. If you cut my hair while I'm asleep. There's nothing that I think that you could do to me physically that would make me not want to do this podcast with you. Dude, that can't be true. Other than, like, fuck someone I love. Which well, which would mean, like, a family member or, like... Yeah, you don't love anybody. <laughs> I love myself, but, like, you can have me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, dude, if you Samsoned me, I would literally fucking... I would literally, like... I don't know what I'd do. You'd get fucking pink socks, dude. I tied you to the kitchen chair. I broke your throne. And I buzzed you right down the middle. What? And from your lips you drew the hallelujah. Are you singing Wonderwall? (laughs) Isn't that John Lennon? Who does Wonderwall? No, it's John Legend. John Legend? Yeah. He does Hallelujah? Yeah. And Wonderwall. (laughs) What is Wonderwall? Huh. So I, Today is going to be a day that I'm going to bring it back to you. I've never heard that song before. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Who sings it? Baby, you're going to be the... I don't know. 
I was holding it far away because I didn't want to like yell. That's fair. Yeah. Um, you can cut all of that if you need to. No, I think it's a good, it's a good, it's a good topic. I don't, cause I don't know who, I don't know who sings it. I don't know. I've never heard the song Wonderwall, but I know it's we'll a listen, really, we'll listen to Wonderwall and we'll give a review the next podcast. I know it's a very popular song. But it dawned on me the other day that I'd never heard it before. And I was like... Oasis. Exactly. Bitch who? Yep. You know that song somebody used to... Somebody... Now you're just somebody I used, somebody I used to know? Yeah, Go Taye. Huh? Go Taye. What's your second favorite song by them? Smo- <laughs> Smoke and Mirrors. Really? Yeah. You know more than one song from them? Yeah. Which? I actually do. I'm so glad you fucking dude, brought that up. Good job. Dude, their song dude. Smoke and Mirrors is actually really fucking good. Dude, I'll never doubt your mental capabilities ever again. No, dude, doubt it. Because <laughs> it was just that one. You happened to pull the what fucking the song? Smoke and Mirrors. You looked through a smoky mirror to fucking figure that one dude, out. Dude, literally, that was a blast from like 2017. Man. Oh. Like, That's wild. <laughs> Let's listen to both, all of those songs like after this podcast. Uh, I've never heard the album. I won't say it's good, but those two songs I've heard off the same album. Brilliant. Fucking outrageous. Yeah. And good. Did, are they still putting out music or did they kind of drop off after they made their buck? I don't know. I think it's just one guy though. And the, like the female was just like. The female was, I think her name was like Kimbra or something. And she was just like along for the she ride was a feature, for the duet. Yeah. 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 Okay. I got you. Um, Brilliant yeah. song though. Great song. Fucking right, dude. Dude, yeah. I can't believe that. Hot Shell Ray. Name another song besides Tonight Tonight by Hot Shell Ray. What? You know, tonight, tonight. Standing on the top of a roof. T- I don't know. You know that Standing song? Standing on the top of the rooftop tonight, tonight. Yeah, that tonight. song. Hot That's sh- not what the lyric is. But I don't care. We, we made it work. I know the song <laughs> name and the artist name. Hot Shell Ray. There's Name another song. on the rooftop, top of the world tonight. That's it? Tonight. That's the one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, same Name vibe. another song by them. Don't even know the band. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, have you heard of uh, One Direction? No. Did you hear that they broke up? No. Yeah. Who cheated? Both of them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they went in separate directions. They cheated with each other. It, it ended up being five directions. Holy fuck! Yeah, but Zane, Harry, stop! I like, uh, I don't know, I don't know who they Zane, are. Zane, Harry, Z- Liam, Z- Liam, Nile. Wait, hang on, no, 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 no. Let the me, important. Let me guess. The Expendables. Zane. There's five, right? Yeah. There's five. I think Zane. So. Yeah. Liam. Harry, Nile. Nile. Harry. Harry. Zach. <laughs> Um, Guilford. Uh, what? He's the Who's one the that fifth? no one remember. He's the one that Who's broke the up the fifth band. One? I don't know. Lee? Oh, Nick Jonas. No. Is there four of them? It might be only there, four. There can't be. There's five. Who's I don't know. The, who's the one guy? Comment down below if you know the fifth Liam, if you know the fifth One Direction uh, <laughs> the member. The fifth Liam? <laughs> yeah, the fifth Liam. No, it's right that's on the tip be, of my tongue. That's a movie. It's going to be five Liam Neesons <laughs> fighting each other. And the victor is going to be the fifth Liam. They just don't tell you which one's the fifth. Zane, Harry, Liam, Nile. Nile. Who the fuck is the fifth one? Are you sure there's five? Look it up. Are you sure there's fucking five of them? Because, like, there might only be four. What's the fucking fifth one's name? Lewis! Lewis! His Lewis, name is Lewis! Lewis Capaldi! Lewis Capaldi! <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Capaldi! Dude, Lewis Capaldi won. <laughs> Fifth direction confirmed? Dude, Louis Capaldi was the sixth direction. He's the fifth Liam. <laughs> oh my god. I thought oh. I was gonna die. Dude, yeah. so many little fangirls are gonna be pissed. They don't listen to us. They will We, we they started will. the episode by talking about cum and nut. They will one day. Yeah. What's crazy to think about is the fact that we're never gonna get we're never gonna get another One Direction concert, right? <laughs> but you know who we will get in concert? Harry Styles. Oliver Tree. 30 bucks. You want to go see Oliver Tree in concert? Where at? Uh, Closest place? Yeah, I think there's like one within like a two hour drive. I'm down. Let's go see all, all 30 bucks Oliver Tree. Um, January, let's go see Santino for my birthday, please. Let's go see Santino. Santino, Dude, like Andrew Santino from the Bad yes, Friends pod? From Bad Friends. Andrew Santino from Bad Friends and Bobby Lee. With but Bobby just, Lee? Not with Bobby Lee doing the stand up, but he's in Bad Friends. But Andrew Santino is doing stand up in, I think. Um, not DC, maybe Norfolk, but we should go. Uh, Dave Bird actually just posted today on his Instagram, yeah. like a shout out to Andrew Santino Hell yeah. and talking about how they're friends and how, um, how, uh, 
little dicky on stage and like how he does his stage performance and how that's his niche and his like baby that he fathers yeah in the same way um that andrew santino doctored the fuck out of his set yeah and he fathered it and he grew this set and that he's very proud of and he's an absolute like mechanical animal on stage when Dude, it comes to these jokes legend. i'm so, i want to see him so bad live i but love probably andrew one of my Biggest comedic inspirations right now. 100%. And Dave Bird. Fucking hilarious. Both Dude, of them. Love Dave. And Bobby Lee. Spo- or, uh, shout out Bad Friends. Shout out Bad Friends. Bad Friends. Yeah. Fucking love it, dude. Good stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we should definitely go uh, pop off and see that. I also want to get into some concerts, man. Some concerts? I want to get into some like like laughing shows, some like the Laugh Factory. We or... need to go to concerts and comedy, dude. Comedy? The old, oh the old CNC. No, I'm so... Once I get financially stable again, I'm going to blow all of my money. Because I, I also, for research purposes, I would love to get just in that room, you know? Yeah. Because I, one day I would love, genuinely, I think I would like to be like a stand-up comedian or a comic. Oh, I think you could do it, buddy. If I could get there, I would love to get on stage. I wouldn't mind doing that, too. I would just have to make very clear to the audience <laughs> beforehand that sometimes I stutter. Yeah. <laughs> and it, mean, you can feel free to laugh. But I do it. It's funny. You know how that shit works, though. You can yeah. make it work. Oh, yeah. Dude, everybody loves your stutter on the pod. Every moment can be a comedic moment. I shouldn't say your stutter. You don't have a stutter when you're like just talking regularly. It's just... Yeah. When we're recording, it's just... Well... Things get hot and fast Even when we're not heavy, recording. You know? If I'm passionate about something and I'm talking really fast like I'm doing right now, and sometimes my brain just doesn't have the ability to, like, right there doesn't have the ability to keep up with the words that are coming out. Yeah, your mouth moves faster than your brain. Yeah, and part of it, I think, is fear of uh, you cutting me off and me not letting, like, me not being able to get out what I'm trying to say before you make another joke on top of me. <laughs> Dude, you're just Jamie Taco. I'm Jamie Taco. From I Think You Should Leave. And I'm fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hey, get- wait up, I'm starving. And I just walked past you. I didn't mean to hit you that hard. <laughs> you hit me really hard. Hey, I hit you in the rib the other night while drunk. Did, yeah, I, did you punch me Did I? Did that hurt? Part. It hurt really bad. I'm so sorry. I could probably damage a human. You you hurt me. Is it bruised and broken? And when you punched me, I was literally fighting every urge in my body not to literally just fucking cripple you. Not kill you. No, no, not no, hurt no. you no, in no, any no, way. No, no. Just literally just sever your spine no, so no. you could never walk again. That gentle tap to your rib cage that damaged you that profusely? That was not a gentle tap, brother. It wasn't. I felt it this morning. <laughs> it might not have been a gentle tap, but it sure as fuck wasn't full force. And you're threatening to rip my spine from my body? No, sever it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just I was sim- in the wrong. Simple, I'm sorry. Simple incision right below the seventh and sixth vertebrae. I'm sorry, I hit you. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you feel it right now? No. Okay, we'll take a shot, and you won't feel anything. Back to the topic of numbness. I wish I was numb last night. When I hit you? Yeah. Yeah. I was well, a little bit. You should have taken another shot with me. It's all right. I'm very proud of myself for not uh, condoning any violence and acting out. Yeah, you did a really good job of controlling yourself. I restrained myself like fucking crazy. Yeah. I got drunk last night and I texted, uh, apparently, maybe my full contact list. Oh, boy. This photo of uh, me making as many chins as possible. What was with, your world record? With uh, Right now, I was in, I've been in worse shape. But the caption was, uh, I don't know who's worse off, me for having three chins or you for not being able to count that high. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Benjamin. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that oh reminds me. We actually got a, uh, a listener sent another uh, meme in. Another meme? Another meme for Jordan. Is it a, It's a me meme? It's a me meme, yes. It's a me meme. It's a me 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 me. I right, just tell me what it is and stop babbling. So the picture is, it's a... Uh, uh, two players in Halo on like a quad bike mm-hmm. with the with the flag from Capture the Flag, yeah. running from like a couple guys shooting at him. Yeah, and the caption is my buddy picking me up from my one night stand as I sneak out after stealing her kids' pop tarts. <laughs> listener, <laughs> the listener just sent it to me and said Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no other caption. No, just my name. Nothing else. Not this oh is Jordan. Gosh. This is so Jordan. It's just. Your name. You never Jordan. you never play a good old game of capture the tart. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh man, dude. Bro, that was a mission. The mission wasn't the mom. The mission was the tarts, my guy. Oh, the tarts and the Capri Suns. I'll tell you what, I was thirsty and hungry, 
but not for a mom. I was thirsty and hungry for some apple juice and some poppy tarts. Poppy tarts. Some dude. poppy tarts. You fucking just steal all the Lunchables and make fucking break for home. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. I think Lunchables are gross. Yeah. No. Popular opinion? Popular. It is a popular yeah, opinion. Fuck Lunchables. Dude. Oh, they're, they're gross. so fucking gross. First oh. of all, first of all, they're gross. Everything in a Lunchable tastes like fucking rubber. Yeah, I thought I was being brave. <laughs> Every, no, no, no. I mean, well, you are because we're probably both unpopular in this sense. But oh, we're I both also, getting canceled I, for not liking Lunchables. Yeah, probably. Fuck. I agree with you that they're trash. Yeah. Everything in there tastes like rubber. The ham, the cheese, the crackers, whatever you're making. Right. Also, portion size not big enough for a child. Well, they're may yeah. It, they're so small. Well, it depends the country. You couldn't eat that if you're hungry. Right. Like right now. You could eat it if you were hungry. Right now, I'm fucking starving. But I couldn't eat a Lunchable and be satisfied. I've been eating ramen every day for the past like week and a half. I think I could eat a Lunchable if I wanted to right now. But would you be satisfied? I think the only thing that would satisfy me is like the taste of a human heart at this point. Oh my God. Yeah, I crave nothing but flesh and blood. That is an unpopular opinion. Yeah. I'm kind of hungry now. I'm fucking starving. You want to yeah. get some Lunchables? Do you want to like take a shot and then walk to the nearest convenience store and then have someone there drive us to a Walmart to get Lunchables? I'm so, <laughs> I'm so down. Yeah? Yeah. Let's, Let's get, get some, some fucking, fucking Lunchables. Food. Lunchables. I fucking hate you sometimes. Sometimes you make me feel so mad. You know, we can fucking get some Lunchables yeah, sometimes. Some lunchables you fucking touch my butthole. Get some fucking Lunchables. Lunchables. I don't know. Drive lunchables. the convenience store and get some fucking Lunchables. Why don't you take two pieces of salami and a crack and shove it up my asshole? Why don't you fucking just do whatever you want to do? Just take the whole fucking Lunchable package and just roll it up into a tight wad and just fucking throw it into the yard. I'll never be as fast as Jamie Taco. Jamie Taco, he keeps stealing all my lines. <laughs>